Chapter 6 Weight and Balance Control for Helicopter Weight and balance considerations of a helicopter are similar to those of an airplane, except they are far more critical, and the CG range is much more limited. The engineers who design a helicopter determine the amount of cyclic control power that is available, and establish both the longitudinal and lateral CG envelopes that allow the pilot to load the helicopter so there is sufficient cyclic control for all flight conditions. If the CG is ahead of the forward limit, the helicopter will tilt and the rotor disc will have a forward pull. To counteract this, rearward cyclic is required. If the CG is too far forward, they may not be enough cyclic authority to allow the helicopter to flare for a landing, and it will consequently require an excessive landing distance. If the CG is aft of the allowable limits, the helicopter will fly with a tail low attitude and may need more forward cyclic stick displacement than is available to maintain a hover in a no wind condition. There might not be enough cyclic power to prevent the tail boom striking the ground. If gusty winds should cause the helicopter to pitch up during high-speed flight, there might not be enough forward cyclic control to lower the nose. Helicopters are approved for a specific maximum gross weight, but it is not safe to operate them at this weight under all conditions. A high density altitude decreases the safe maximum weight as it affects the hovering, takeoff, climb, authorization, and landing performance. The fuel tanks on some helicopters are behind the CG, causing it to shift forward as fuel is used. Under some flight conditions, the balance may shift enough that there will not be sufficient cyclic authority to flare for landing. For these helicopters, the loaded CG should be computed for both takeoff and landing weights. Lateral balance of an airplane is usually a little concern and is not normally calculated. But some helicopters, especially those equipped for host operations, are sensitive to the lateral position of the CG, and their POH or AFM include both longitudinal and lateral CG envelopes as well as information on the maximum permissible host load. Figure 6-2 is an example of such CG envelopes.